Welcome to the Riff Raft. Welcome aboard, everybody. What are we watching <laughs> today, John? We're watching uh, The Naked Witch. That's why we're talking like this, everyone. We're watching The Naked Witch. Do you know anything about this movie, John? Uh, <coughs> well, hmm? I've heard it's bad. Oh. Real bad. Great. <laughs> It was uh, uh, a quick search on Google revealed that it was shot in 1960, copyrighted in 1961, and then it was presumably so bad that they didn't even release it for another three years after that. So, so um, everyone's buckle up. Ev- everyone's gonna have a good time. Just deep breaths, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of you, babies. <laughs> We'll give you the ha ha through the cry cry. <laughs> that should be our channel motto. <laughs> God, <it's> so depressing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is public domain, isn't it? Yeah. So why do you think that can, is? Uh, maybe because it's super terrible and no one <laughs> wanted to claim ownership to it. Oh right, right. So all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Like all of them. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, public domain, keep watching, you'll see the movie right here, and you'll hear our commentary synced up with it, me and Brian will do a countdown, that's just for us to get synced ourselves, because we're still recording remotely. I'm glad you feel sexy about that, but, uh, yeah, still remotely, let's do this thing! (laughs) Three, two, one, go. Holy crap, it's got Oh! Witches, fuck, dude! Witches, dodge! Witches! Witches! Dude, what I... was that, Sonny? I don't know, but that thing almost took my head off. From just beyond the edge of light. From the deeper darkness where no living being has ever walked. Uh-huh, comes sure. the terror of those who have given their souls to the devil. Oh yeah, the devil. Yeah, all right. This is the story of one such creature. Oh, God. Sure. This is the story of a witch. Oh, God. A Actually, it was still the blood font, all drippy and stuff, but it was white in world, that version. The sorcerers, the witches. Don't, don't think too much about that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> man has known the evil that walks in the shadows of the night and has feared the dark spirits of the unknown. What lies behind these monstrous fears? Is this usually the narration the when uh, you're dissecting a frog, which it looks like they're doing in the background? Do these sinister creatures live? Dude, there's too much going on for me to discern what's happening. <laughs> Those who have studied the history of the ages, history of the ages, and who know the dark secrets locked in the vaults of time. Oh yeah, vaults of yeah, time. Vaults time. Yeah. Them, yeah. The word witches. Whoa! Brings a trembling fear. Hey, I didn't say it right. And a shuddering terror. <laughs> it was all caps, bro. Learn how to read. <laughs> great minds have sought to explain Oh no! Things, it's more narration and, and still great pictures. Of the world <laughs> hang the work of the master artists of another age, giving mute testimony to the horrors of sorcery and witchcraft as they saw it uh, in their day. A big corpse pile in the lower right. No, I think that was this hideous a tale. fight pile. And to better help you understand is that a key these person? creatures, let's oh, go sure. back 500 person, years. Huh. Well, that will bring us back to the time known as the Dark Ages, when the witches held much of Europe in their black grip of fear. And let us study <laughs> some of the paintings by the great... That guy is so artists. scared, all his teeth this fell out. Age of witchcraft. <laughs> and through their eyes and the genius of their art, <laughs> let us try to understand Ooh, these strange... Oh, very woman. ...and the evil forces behind She's them. both as equally bumpy in the chest as she in is the in the face. Books, we read that what a witch a woman. is one who has given his Look at that baby-faced old man. To do this, they must renounce God and all other things that are decent and good. It is said that they make a pact with <laughs> Satan what the? in their own blood. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> in return to this evil deed, the devil gave them supernatural powers. Do you think the person in the armor behind that dude is like Bowden? They could make or? their bodies disappear or change into any kind of beast or animal at will. 
Oh, it's B-hole. They were given the power to cast their ominous not just shadows head. across the lives of others. <laughs> they could cast evil spells upon their victims, causing them to go blind or lose the use of their Hey, there's no teeth again. Or even lose their minds. They could turn their victims' lives into nightmares of hell. Like this narration. For the devil is their master. And they must go forth upon the earth, serving only the powers of evil. The witches would meet in the night at a prearranged rendezvous. Yep. Usually Already in horrible. Old secret dungeons, yeah. Or in the black depth. I of could a have made this movie an iMovie. These meetings were called Sabbaths, and were always held during the night. John, did you find a PowerPoint power presentation and mistake it for a movie? <laughs> And many of the finest you know, I'd like to think I'm better than that, period, but this might prove me more wrong there. Than words ...of the strange and evil things that took place at the Sabbath. The witches would appear for this sinister ritual in the form of all kinds of hideous Now, let's just pretend we're all in an art class. Or, birds, ...or half beast and half human. They would begin by I wanted to what see weird art. Whoa! Whoa! That knife is deep into that guy's arm. God to serve the devil. The black mass will live in infamy. Oh my forever. God! We get it. For Devils here, and black mass. Some blah of the blah most blah. Terrible blah. criminal acts took place. I didn't pay attention. The witches are good, right? He's frying up a man stew a over there. Whoa, and look at the feet. Then their bodies were thrown to the dogs. Whoa! Or roasted and Another weird period. by the witches. Hmm. Following this ritual, the entire gathering would throw themselves into the most depraved orgies of filth and obscenity conceivable to the human mind. Oh, you got my attention oh. now, movie. But to these evil, perverted creatures, it was all terribly exciting. And it provided an excuse for their unbridled lust. And perverted sex. Hmm. The fact that it had to be carried out in utmost secrecy made it all the more thrilling. Yet those same evil murderous creatures who changed their bodies into all sorts of hideous beasts and engaged in those unbelievable rituals by night lived by day as ordinary human beings. Crap, I have a feeling that this is going to be important later on. So, that, so witches can change themselves into any the shape and they're evil, right? The witches yes. continued their murderous and they love upon depraved, the perverted sex. And it said that they called mm. forth all the legions of the dead to battle for the souls of the living. Whoa! For this is the Oops, goal of army. the devil. <coughs> From the beginning of the 13th Whoa. century, well, through the bottom right, century, yeah. Yep. Witchcraft ran rampant through Europe and Whew. was practiced with oh, all thank its God that's gone. and obscene rituals. <laughs> Oh, so, back to that. The Middle Ages became the Dark Ages. <coughs> what do you think that is? The Age of Witchcraft. The Age of no Fear. Idea. Yeah. A vagina but with four legs? Women, who still had the courage Oof. to fight, did so with all the weapons really they knew. Really challenging the no wrong answers and uh, after philosophy. Five centuries, the tide of battle turned. In many European countries, the practice of witchcraft was made a capital offense. Rulers decreed that their countries must be freed of this terrible wow. scourge. I think they need to rebuild that scaffold. That's very bendy. This is very die. talented people drawing some very were weird out to hunt things. Down the, witches. the fear was so great that entire villages said to be infested by witches were put to the torch. Infested by witches. Yeah. The old records tell That's of actually where pest control originates. Into the night sky. And hideous creatures streaking across yep, the you got witches heavens, in the walls. We're gonna have to problem right here. the entire thing. When confronted with death, many of the gonna have to fumigate with some holy water vapors. Crimes. Yep. Uh -huh. Even the hardened soldiers who were trained to kill turned away sickened by some of their terrifying confessions. One group of witches alone confessed to the murdering of over two thousand babies and small children. But wow. from the brothels and slums of the big For the cities. Middle Ages, how did they even round up 2,000 babies? At last, the witches were no more. Old superstitions and... I mean, I would assume that the they weren't all alive. Knowledge. Take what you will, but that speaks we to a great organizational power. Dude! Of the part there's of the something witches. moving in See the, the picture! Only in what?! As a hideous old woman... Jump out of the way! ...on her broomstick. 
Oh, bringing us back to the strawberry woman. Uh, the world now we're, we're repeating. Committing their atrocious crimes we, we've seen all of this movie. Spells. Never You're really, really trying my patience. <laughs> except in the twilight zone of the mind. But are we mistaken? From deep beyond the edge of light. Well, from somewhere it feels like he's about to tra transition the into some sort of moving of picture light. movie. Do these ominous creatures still exist? Mm. Let us see. This is the very witching this is time. The very oh. witching time of night, when churchyards yawn, and hell itself gives up contagion to this world. Boys, <laughs> don't, John. <laughs> He, 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 he can't stick a single quote that's meaningful after a PowerPoint presentation and be like, <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Hit it out of the park, yo. We're almost ten minutes into this thing. <laughs> that's almost one-sixth of the movie. <laughs> So 10 minutes of PowerPoint slides, and then they thought, let's roll the credits just to lure them in, just to hook them. Look, the credits are going backwards now. This movie doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> okay. Curse guy. Hi. The student. Hello. All right. <laughs> Did every movie start with like a car driving towards the screen back then? This was hot if new I technology. Known of the strange the and automobile experience that was waiting for me. I never would have driven any further into the hill country of central Texas. I would have sat on that plane and died say happily. That it was all a dream. And that it didn't happen at all, nor could it happen in the 20th century. But I tell you, it happened. How fast do you think he's going? I don't think his car is on. Perhaps you'll be able to believe it if I he's tell you about it. down a hill. <laughs> and the people who live there. It's been out of gas for a long to time. To begin with, it was early spring. And there are few places in the whole world as lovely as Central Texas in April. False. But this is not the Texas of cowboy lore. You don't know that. For here, snug I do know that. Oh, do you? Oh, sorry. Hills are trim, <laughs> clannish, thoroughly German villages. What? <laughs> the German settlers came in 1846 seeking religious asylum in America. The green hills, the rocky slopes, Okay, I'm now 100% sure this is someone's history project. From limestone outcroppings in the encircling hills, they built their thick-walled homes, most of them still standing, mellowed to amber by the sun, still occupied by descendants of the settlers. Oh, cool. Oh. And they have oh, kept the faith that going. made their grandfathers brave sickness, Isolation and Indian raids. I've been joking about like so uh, riffing documentaries, and I think this uh, you, you threw us a curveball. The valley is the great number of bells. <laughs> I didn't bells. expect the Naked Witch to the be Abbey a documentary. Lock. Okay. <laughs> and there are the school bells, which have rung for a hundred years. I mean, they years, named it right. If you want kids to get interested in a documentary, <laughs> though English and German are spoken interchangeably. German is taught in the schools and is still Skies. the language Skies. of the yeah, I heard it. Of the home. Oof. <laughs> what does that say? Lachenbach? Lachenberg. And they sing in German. Dude, that kid's ribbon is going crazy. Well, it was until I said something. <laughs> we're children! We're children! You know, never before has there been a greater difference in content 
been in the last two minutes of this movie. We went from Hieronymus Bosch hell paintings to The Sound of Music. Yes, this was spring. The time of Sangerfest, the singing festival. I was trying to get to the village of Luckenbach, where a singing festival was in progress. My, I, we, yes, you just said that twice. That <laughs> I was going to the place I was going you to, called the place, and the place and the place that I'm going to. Can go on a gallon of gas, but when they're out, they'll sit there like any other car. <laughs> you made that sound so insightful. Did you know that when cars like uh, don't have gas, they don't move? <laughs> this is a man who's gonna die in the desert. I was already late, so I decided to leave the car and walk into the village. This was the last day of the singing festival, and the last day I could take away from college. I was writing a thesis on the early Germans in Texas, and the festivals were important to my research. As I walked through the countryside... Yeah, I feel like village, I'm in school, too. I thought to myself how lucky these people were to live in such peace and unspoiled... At least we're gaining useful information, John. the old Burr Mill on the outskirts of the village, an ominous feeling crept over me. It seemed as if the dark shade trees above the mill race were about to swallow me up and take me back a hundred years. You've had that feeling before, right? Would. No. No, I haven't. Oh. But I've never been in a Larry Buchanan film, so there you go. <laughs> Gotta live, John. Gotta get out there. <laughs> what is... Hello there. B. Gates. Uh, I'm looking for a place to stay for the night. I wonder if you could help me. Schoenig Zinn. Mein Bruder Hans. Good beer. Wiener Schnitzel. Sounds uh... <laughs> Definitely wow. a German guy. <laughs> Definitely German. Skurska. Her name was Kirska. It was a pity that such a lovely creature would be the one to tell me that I was too late for the festival. She was dressed in a costume of the old costume. She told me I was... and had taken some village <laughs> children to the festival. She said that her grandfather would be glad to have me at the she end. She told me I was just in time for the sacrifice. Luckily, the voiceover made sure that go. the... You know, three people staring at each other in silence awkwardly, you know, is acceptable. He seemed pleasant mm -hmm. enough as I asked him if he could help me. But when I mentioned the words superstitions and witchcraft... He immediately visibly he shit his pants. Continued with his grinding. He's saying this in his head! None of that was out loud! I Is he just daydreaming what's happening in his, like, reality right now, or...? <laughs> I tried to ask Kirska questions about the village, but she was interested in what she called the outside. What it was like at college. What kind of clothes were being worn by girls... His narration there was so weird, because Something he said what she called was out the outside, and he said it so skeptically, like he didn't just come from there. Walks. But as we approached the end, her mood changed. It was as if she wanted to help me, but couldn't find words to explain because how. Because she was, didn't speak English. You must be careful. <laughs> the old ones do not like to speak of the spirits under Hex. And your grandfather? Grandpapa will be glad to have you in our house. He will talk of anything you wish. Hmm? And much of what you don't. She seems scared. <laughs> That Holy evening, crap, we actually got one line of not voiceover. Hans Schoenig, the innkeeper, puffed on his pipe and tried to find words to answer my question. He too didn't speak yeah. English. My Bruder de Muller, the villagers, they are afraid to talk of those days when the spirits were about our valley. Especially the Lukenbach witch. That's the most Irish the German I've witch. ever heard. <laughs> I think I talk too much. Surely, after all these years, it would be nothing if you told me. I will help you when I can. But Whoa! Whoa! Hello. Turn the lights but off. I you, I'm not going to say anything to anyone. I'm just interested. Good in luck. I had just about given up hope of any help from anybody. Come in. Stage right. 
Hi, I brought the west, rest of the walls for your room. This water is fresh from the well. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, uh, do you have to go? I thought maybe we could bone. I mean, uh, mm. well, I'm not having too much luck with the others, and I thought someone younger might be able this to help. the boning. <laughs> someone like you. Yes, John, we're all following. Bone! <laughs> das Bone! We all know it's going to happen. Sure, it was the German immigration you were writing about. But. Okay, so it's not just about the immigration story. So it's also about customs and legends and strange oddities that we're here about. And witchcraft? Listen, I didn't say anything oh, about witchcraft. You can be honest with me. All hmm. right, so I'm interested in witchcraft and sorcery in the old colony. What's the harm in that? The old folks do not take these things lightly. I didn't mean to upset your folks the way I did. But what can be the harm in a guy researching something that happened over a hundred years ago? You would have to live here to know us, to understand these things. You're what we call friender. You're from the outside. They don't trust you. Hmm. Friender. Are they trying to hide <laughs> something? Don't you? Why are you so interested? It's just an academic hobby with me. I know there's a lot of talk about witches and warlocks and stuff like that, and a lot of people actually oh, believe yeah. it. But I've done a lot of research on witchcraft, and I actually believe it can be boiled down to a simple mathematical and economic formula. How do you mean? Look. Yeah, how? In any history book, in any age where there was widespread famine, sickness, want, you find an outbreak of women being denounced as witches. In the late Middle Ages, thousands of people were executed in Europe and England. In Massachusetts, 20 witches were put to death. All of these were times of widespread disease and hunger. But when your yeah, people first settled there. in this country, they had not only disease and hunger to contend with, they had the Comanche Indian raids as well. Little wonder then, <laughs> uh -oh. the ugly word witchcraft was heard in the new colony. But what pleasure can you get from studying about all this? To better understand the witch hunts we have today. <laughs> Why do you learn? You think that after the delusions of New England... Wait, are this the witch Texas, hunts? The urge to hunt witches would have disappeared from the Western world, but nothing of the kind. You would have thought. <laughs> the idea of witchcraft was replaced with things like race and nationality. What can I do to help? Your grandfather mentioned the Lukenbach witch, but caught himself when I tried Luke to find out more us. about her. Now, I've heard of this case before. Can you tell me something about her? There was no. a woman called the Lukenbach witch. Called a Lukenbach witch. And uncle will not talk of it because it was their grandfather, Schoenig, who denounced her. The settler that built this inn? Yes. In this very room. In, that In very this bed. very bed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Don't leave now. I have an old book. Don't Very feel bad. It's a bad movie, John. All about it, but you <laughs> must not tell the others about the book. You have my word. I'll just be a minute. Kirska. Yes. <laughs> yes. You have this Do you mind if I call smile. you Crisco? Is that what the college boys are telling all the country girls this year? No, I really yes. mean it. I believe you. It's just that uh, I don't ever really notice anyone until they get a little bothered and light up like a candle. You know, with what? your German good look set off with something simple uh, and black, you'd look uh, like a little oh, cameo. What? I better hurry. What? <laughs> Put a wallet in your mouth. You're stroking out. <laughs> he is just stumbling over flirting horribly. <laughs> Did you know you looked like a cocker spaniel when you smile in the dark? As I finish my time... <laughs> Is that a good that thing? My luck was changing for the better. Just how much better, I couldn't describe. Dude, you, you missed the days it. that uh, we had to strap up our suitcases, right? Fight! You said something simple and black. I did? I didn't realize you changed. Oh, uh, Put on yeah, something simple did, and nude. Did. Shouldn't you mm. close the door? Yes. Oh wow, he's in yes, there. Of course. Um, I'm not sure I've got you figured. 
Because I asked you to close the door? I don't well, think I got yeah, your finger. Right. You wouldn't want Grandfather to know we were alone? No, I wouldn't. Oh, you didn't think I wanted to be alone with you? No. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not sure what I thought at the moment. I'll tell you. You didn't think little... Doesn't look like much thinking goes on in there. Things and life. But, uh, well, sorry, what'd you more say? About life and things <laughs> and being alone than farm people. Well, I'll be... It's just that farm people uh, don't uh. talk about it too much. Too much talk ruins it. I'll be... <laughs> I'd better give you your book now and go. Because after giving you your book, I have no reason to stay. Except on one condition. That wouldn't be fair to you. <sighs> Here are my terms of agreement. <laughs> Sign in blood at the bottom, please. I don't know. She doesn't seem like an app I would download. All right, let's see what I'm getting into. Oh, man. There's a whole section just labeled butt stuff. Oh, boy. And not her butt. Hmm. Oh, hey. This is gonna... The early Germans this is why you read the terms of agreement first. And properly know how witchcraft and suspicion raised its ugly... Oh, no, it's people. back to the PowerPoint. Remember that in the first year of the settlement, typhoid, <sighs> sleeping sickness, and other bitter hardships were climaxed by an epidemic that took oh, the lives climax. of two oh, the Typhus climax. Oh. The villagers looked for someone on whom to blame the troubles. What better they found Joe. The widow who walked by moonlight. The widow who was too aloof to speak to the women of the village. The widow who caused the whispers about a clandestine affair with the innkeeper Joinig. She looks familiar. The widow witch, they called her. Witch? It must be remembered that this was a time when a man of power could conveniently denounce as a witch any woman discovered with him in his bed. Such Sometimes the jokes just Otto come. Schoenig. Whoa. Yeah. What is up with the bedposts in this movie? Well, oh. they made it real easy for the set design perspective because they said, Oh yeah, I was in this exact same room. In this exact same bed. So we don't have to change anything. Well, Otto? Well, Widow? <laughs> Whoa, what, excuse what a is it this dick. Time, Otto? What excuse? I have asked you to give me more time, woman. I have given you time enough. You must decide between us. Whoa. I cannot play charity with my woman while she is infirm. The villagers are talking. I hear their mouthing when I pass their door. <laughs> what are they saying? That is a creeper. They're saying that I have taken the bed of an invalid wife. They're blaming me for their misery. The curdling of milk and the spoiling of butter. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just poisoning them a little bit. It is the curse. <laughs> An eavesdropping. <laughs> My washerwoman tells me that on Sunday last, the preacher read from the Old Testament. I shall not suffer a witch to live. You must take me away from all this. I cannot break charity with my woman while she is infirmed. You have broken charity with me? What am I? A chapel to be used when convenient? Well, I wouldn't to put it like that, where but... where your yeah. wife cannot? To lie with, but not to marry? Quiet, woman! To monologue endlessly? I'll not be silent. For I fear this talk of witches was born with you. Is it you who have Dude, I just can't stop thinking about, about that, like, uh, that post is a butt plug. Is it you who have called me a witch? Oh, you should stop thinking about that. <laughs> Don't you tell me how to live, John. Did you have me burned? Acting. 
Oh, until I saw the head. Yeah. My goodness. Yes. Witches are for burning. No. <laughs> no. Ah, the, the progressive man of the 1800s. <laughs> Is that their, like, power supply back then? <laughs> Clean burning energy. Clean burning witch energy. The elders are here to learn how you cast your demoniac spell over this house. Whoa. No, no you lie! I have told them how you cast your spell over my wife to make her invalid. She is in league with the devil. The widow is a witch. That same night, under cover of darkness, <laughs> the widow to the graveyard. Did you see that, that, like, shirtless hangman? Yeah. And that she whispered over and over, Tot au alle Schoenigs. Death to all Schoenigs. I will return. And with the self-same spire, I will kill all who bear the name of Schoenig. How convenient for Otto Schoenig that there could be no trial. Death would be by post oak spire. They buried Whoa. it about a hundred yards. Whoa! And deceptive. Otto Schoening. Ooh, I like a little light reading before bed. Time to turn in. Wow, it's so black and white out there today. Windmill. Tree. Yep. Wow, it's more That's colorful in his room. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, indeed. I blame witchcraft. <laughs> oh, right, this movie has a theme. Uh -huh, see? That's quality. Uh -huh. using his day lantern. I know, it does seem pretty adequately <laughs> lit outside. <laughs> Just a pro tip, you generally don't need a light source when you have to put on sunblock. Um, it, let's think positively. Maybe he's just going to whip that thing in someone's face. <laughs> Some sort of witch fighting lantern. You know, one of those. Dude, do you have... Yeah. You played Castlevania, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I love how he's using the lantern to read the headstone. <laughs> it almost seemed like the lantern was causing a shadow that would prevent it from reading correctly. <laughs> Professor Genius at work. Yep, still daytime. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what? Wait. Is this the witch's grave? He was able to find this even though she was buried in a unmarked hole 200 years earlier. It seems to be marked. Is it? I mean, there that that's like a a tombstone thingy to his left. Is it? I, I think so. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Bad movie. Bad movie. In, in the in the day night resolution limbo <laughs> that we are in. Oh, yep, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's marked. Oh wait, no, <laughs> it's gone yeah, again. From there, it's gone it's again. Gone. It's camo, dude. Camo it's headstone. <laughs> That's how you bury a witch. <laughs> That's how you screw with your loved ones after you're dead. <laughs> That's what they're going to bury John Cena with, and it's going to say, You can't see me! Ba -ba -da -ba! Ba -ba -da -ba! Just let, like to let all of those out there listening still, uh, that we do not support wrestling. We are good people. What? Eat me. <laughs> Wrestling's okay. Whoa! Whoa! Man, he polished... That they, wait, what? It was a 
mummified <laughs> face of the widow with eye sockets staring. That's the pelvis. Among the crumbling bones, the stake. Now the pelvis connects to the bone. head bone. What a prize. If I could but take the stake and... The temptation was too much. Never before what? had I held a piece of wood. Whoa! Oh! So what do you think you would do if you pulled out a stake from a witch's grave and the corpse started doing that? I'd probably put it back in, yeah. Reevaluate your life decisions, you know, <laughs> get out of a bad... <laughs> I came here to see a singing fest, and suddenly I'm resurrecting a witch. What am I doing with my life, man? Um, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to take this cursed spear to my room. <laughs> and jam it up my Whoa! butt. Whoa! He could have accidentally hurt himself doing that. <laughs> that was a very quick... Uh... Yeah, she really cleared up that skin condition she had. And all thanks to L'Oreal, Ageless Night Cream. Yep, you can go from fruit, leather, face, and dead to alive in a matter of instant. Yeah. In a matter of an... Yeah, yeah, just like that. Although I feel like we're burying the lead there, saying that your skin will look better. Oh, also it'll bring you back from the dead. Uh, yeah, we should lead with the bring you back from the dead thing. <laughs> Are people interested in that? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty sure she's naked, which I would normally find irritating because I'd have to censor, but the resolution is so bad you literally can't tell. I mean, we can't tell. YouTube might tell. Perhaps. Haha, <laughs> take that optimism. Eat it! <laughs> what is that big black fog in the middle of the camera? It's moving with the camera, what the heck? Oh, is oh. that a sensor? Oh, it's already censored! It is! Hooray! It's <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just terrible, terrible filmmaking. <laughs> Oh, really? I thought it was like Satan's, like, uh, Johnson. Like, as an ominous, you know. Yeah. Like, a reminder that this is gonna build up into something greater. The witches are just, you know, pawns of Satan. Hmm. Whoa! She needs to work Dang. on them eyebrows. That wraps around her entire freaking head. In the red room with black tank top, <laughs> it's a shadow. Dude, yep, nothing. So, uh, are we so doing this? Did she come back to life and then, like, like uh, seriously, like, make up up? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Thanks to L'Oreal Ageless Regeneration Cream. Thanks to Satan's Secret, I'm able to pop out of the coffin fresh, clean, <laughs> and ready to steal the scene. L'Oreal, <laughs> in conjunction with Satan, presents... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh, it's... Did she stab she her? some flesh in there? I don't know! Better she's overreacting to losing a blouse. <laughs> and the camera's not focusing on the right thing. Oh, yeah, not even colored. <laughs> hmm. Piped in some frog noise, some ribbits.
Goddamn witch is ruining my grinding. Yeah, what was he angrily marching towards? Uh... Oh! Oh! It was her! <laughs> <laughs> he was just focused on the path ahead, I guess, instead of just, like, looking at her. And one by water. Whoa! Wow. He just... I didn't... He just stood there and took it. Yeah. I didn't know it was so easy to kill people in Texas. <laughs> That's why they're so big on guns. Whoa. Oh. What you gonna do with it, John? Oh. Uh... That... There, there was not that amount of blood on... The... <laughs> she... Is she... Made it? Does it make more blood? Oh, it oh. makes more blood! <laughs> Thanks to L'Oreal and Satan, I have double the amount of blood! The next morning, the elders came to the inn. They had fished the body of the miller out of the blood-soaked mill pond. There was no question of what had happened, for they had also discovered the empty grave of the witch. That I dug up, because I'm a dummy. I tried to speak up, but words wouldn't form in my mouth. Words like, I did it, and I know how this happened, and I can end this. This thing didn't happen. But as the elder continued to talk, the sudden realization came to me that it was true. I had uncovered a grave of a witch. And now, after 100 years, she had returned to avenge herself. Dude, are you freaking out right now? I'm freaking out a little bit. What do you think the witch is going to do next? I don't know, kill some other nameless schlubs and then get killed herself? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, dude, why? The elder warned that no one should leave or enter the village until the witch be found and return Does that to have a top knot? Surely the witch would not stop at one death. Where would she strike next? Who would speak the next? Only two villagers with the name of Schernig were the innkeeper Hans and Kirska. As the moon rose, we did all we could do. Bolt the shutters and wait. <laughs> oh, I think they're implying that it's night, even though you can tell that the sun's up. I honestly don't know what's going on right now, man. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of people in tattered clothing wandering around in the desert. What does that remind you of? Horrible, horrible things, John. The beast of what? Oh, ah! <laughs> oh there's the flashback. Oh, God. No, I was just thinking about, like, impoverished people in, like, Arizona. <laughs> not, not something as terrible, like, as horrible as what you just said. The, the movie that must never be named. <laughs> so that guy's really not taking the, the witch murderings too seriously. What do you think they're cooking? Uh, maybe some stew. Pretty tiny pot for stew. One by five. Oh, right in the Ooh. dick! <laughs> right <laughs> down the urethra. <laughs> and it killed him immediately. Oh, he liked it! <laughs> so they must not have bolted the shutters too well. <laughs> I was the guilty party. Just as surely as if I had held the stake, I had killed him. I had jammed that stake right up his dog. I could no longer contain my guilt. And yet, some kind of power kept me from speaking up. It was as if I was... Not wanting to get blamed for things. ...by the witch herself. I made up my some mind... Some mysterious power that I wanted... Tuck deep, deep, deep inside myself, so I don't have to have feel at my consequences for life. Under the guise of research, hey, he's I a white male. Some place people could hide <laughs> what do you know? Hills by day, maybe some place where they went to during the Indian raids. Yes, she could help me. There were some caves downstream from the mill. I had my information. 
It, it really sounds like this guy's reading off note cards. I had my yeah. information. And so that night, as the moon bathed the hills with light, and the sun did too, I crossed the mill race and headed toward the caves downstream. Well, all right. I, I'll give it to him. They're experimenting with filters, but my goodness. <laughs> You, you test this stuff before you. It's the final product. <laughs> La -de -da -de -da. Oh, this must be the naked witch. Oh. She's humming down with the sickness. I really can't judge. I, I'm pretty sure I've been naked in a swamp before. <laughs> well, oh. oh no! Now I have to censor. Thanks a lot, witch. Uh, I'm just happy that I, I don't have to feel bad about this. This was this was your choice. <laughs> Naked witch. Who would have thought? <laughs> wow, this is going. Oh, of course it is. This is probably yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna put a giant black bar across the screen. Fascinated by this beautiful creature, I couldn't believe that here was a vengeful witch who had murdered two... If she was so was evil, born, why did I have a boner? For a moment I felt sorry for her. This lonely nymph, whose friends were water snakes in the moon. What? And she seemed to know every sound of the night. How is she okay with just someone looming over her on a hillside like that? Yeah, she is a witch. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you were swimming naked and looked up to see just some guy, like, unmoving and, like, <laughs> you wouldn't find that concerning in the least bit? I would, but I'm not a witch. I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> so, for you uh, out there who are Look aren't... at that! Look at that! Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, he didn't even step That's... on that stick. <laughs> That's what gave him away? He stepped next to the stick. <laughs> Expert level hiding. He missed that bush completely. <laughs> <laughs> this is still working, right? <laughs> like, he saw it. Wow. Oh. What? Uh... What? As her eyes met mine, all thoughts of capture or punishment of the witch drained from my As my mind. blood drained to my dong. Her power and beauty engulfed me, and I found myself completely obeying her will. No, pro tip for swimmers, uh, like having a wrecked dong while down. swimming, like, adds to the drag. The you don't want that. <laughs> you want to be a sleek missile through the water, and having a... Erection. No, bad. No. Your whole body needs to be a missile. Not just your penis, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they've completely given up on the idea that this scene's taking place at night, huh? 
Yeah, that and it's like, it's a witch. And, oh god, it's a creeper. It's like, we're falling in love! <laughs> hmm. What, what's happening? They, they seem to... I believe they're trying to fornicate in the swamp. <laughs> that's how you want diseases, because that's how you get diseases. You think COVID's bad? Swamp herpes, a hundred <laughs> times worse. In fact, no one even knows about swamp herpes because you get it, you're dead in 20 gooey you're seconds. Dead. Exactly. <laughs> the problem takes care of itself. It's just reckless people that die immediately. <laughs> They're not smart enough to spread it. So, are there just a bunch of lakes next to each other, or are they yeah, just no, running in a circle? No, they're just boning in adjacent, like, uh, lakes. Also, she has a shirt on now. Uh... How many days... Like a whole like, dress. How many days have gone by, do you think? <laughs> so the witch is, like, immortal. But is this guy just, like, uh, surviving off of swamp water, and... And boning, or...? <laughs> well, I mean, some of their their bone sauce might be getting into his mouth, sustaining him. S some of whose bone sauce? I don't know. Both of them mixed up? You may be right. Now, after five days of boning you, I spring my trap. Whoa! Eyebrows. Good lord, look at those eyebrows. How'd they keep like that after swimming through the swamp for, like, three days? Why is she taking off the shirt that she literally just put on? Dress that she just put on. Oh, dude. Filmed in full Harrow vision. So did she just have like a dress waiting in that cave? Cave dress, yeah. Or did she like uh, witch it into existence? That's where dresses come from. They come from uh, cave creatures. Hmm. Huh? Science fact. I did not know that. Yeah, you can take that one to the bank, bro. You know what? I'm I'm getting a weird feeling that this scene is meant to be an allusion to the similar dancing scene in Metropolis. The Whore of Babylon scene. Which is uh, a pretty bold statement from a really bad movie. I mean, they're, uh, they're taking inspiration from everything, John. Yeah, but... Uh, the, 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 right. This is... I don't know. Seems pretty close to it. Between the music and... Well, he seems less interested than the guys in Metropolis. You know it's getting late. I'm just gonna, you know, looks like a cab. Looks like you got something going on, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, you're still doing it. That's cool. Cool. Well, Bye. Dude, it's like the first part of this movie. <laughs> it's like, where, where, uh, uh, the wonder. same scene over and over again. <laughs> I, I wonder if some of these just truly, unbelievably bad public domains we've seen. You know, they're from the 60s. I, I wonder if they weren't designed as some sort of CIA mind control experiment. Or some sort of enhanced interrogation technique. No, I'm not going to discourage that thought, because uh, I think the uh, conspiracy theory uh, 
demographic uh, could be a boost for us. Yay. You did it, buddy. We did it. We're super successful <laughs> now. Whoa! Oh, did his hair get bigger? Like his <laughs> chest hair? <laughs> He's been there a long time. He seems to be getting hairier with every scene. <laughs> and she is noticing. Clap off. Clap on. Clap off. He's going to get the clapper. Mm. It is he One by five. But all shall die by the self-same spy. Oh! Look, it's, it's a boulder. It's a lot of boulders. I'm 90% sure we saw this exact scene a little earlier. How great would it be if she wasn't a witch and she just, like, tricked some guy uh, under the promise of, like, having sex into, like, a valley which he could not return from? <laughs> Try to find your way back now, asshole. <laughs> hey, uh, naked witch, I, I don't want to ruin your plan, but if you're planning to stab a guy that's in a graveyard, he's already dead. That's what makes it so easy, John. Whoa, the quality just bumped up incredibly. <laughs> Oof. Huh, something feels witchy. Naked witchy. The naked witchy. We lost color again. Oh, man. So it seems like she's being, it seems like Kirska is being mind controlled here. If mind control is one of the I witch's powers, so. why didn't she just use that from the beginning on all of them? Uh, maybe she can only do it with relatives. I, I don't know. Man. <laughs> it's recharge <laughs> time is too long. If I have to spend more time thinking about this movie than the director, the director has done a bad job. <laughs> Kind of paradoxical, because in that case, then you really shouldn't be thinking about the movie that much. <laughs> I'm a good person, dude. <laughs> Whoa! She's witching it up. Look at that hair flow. Oh, man. That's when you know witching's going down. You know what? I will give this movie one extra point, one extra rating point, if that witch gets killed with a cactus. I can stand behind that. Very good, very good. Does he count as a cactus? That's a man. Given this, like, I mean, he's got like stubbly chest hair, the prickly cacti. You know what? I will. I will also award one rating point if he kills her with his chest hair. If he just jumps through a witch. <laughs> You know what? That would get two points. <laughs> if he does like a swimming dive through the witch. Oh my god, I would love that. 
Oh wow, you tricky witch! What do you have planned? Dive? Oh, oh, oh you just lost two it. points. Yep. You can still get one. Just go get a cactus. Oh, she's already, she's already dead, you loser. Oh, you killed that terrible witch that killed my family members. I'm so sad. And that's what, what? happens when you don't use L'Oreal's rejuvenating face cream. Later, in the cold gray light, I spread the dirt over the widow. My feelings were mixed. Here was a woman who had taken two lives. But I got to bone her a lot, so Yet I guess it evens been out. maliciously and killed by the same stake. Was she witch or wrong? No, widow? she was a witch. She came back from the dead, bro. It is not for me to say. There's, I there's no ambiguity there. You're wrong. Over. And she has returned to her hundred year sleep. You know, you'd think that they would unmark that grave. <laughs> they would just cover it if with it cement was, and be done if with it. It was such a problem. <laughs> like, he, he, he dug her out with his hands. Like, wolves would do that. Wolves could get in there. Any number of animals. Could revive the witch that's going to kill all of you. But, uh, the wolf would like have to like after they were done feasting on the corpse that was buried. Uh, remove Actually, the steak. Yeah, I guess wolf yeah. would kind of fix the problem. So whatever. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was bad. That was a, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Bad. bad movie. So how do you feel, everyone? Still listening? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> still have friends out there? We're doing okay. Man, like. That was like nothing. <laughs> like, nothing. So, guy comes into town was... for no particular reason. He, he's no, no, studying no, no. John, German John, stuff. John, you're doing this wrong. Okay. All right. One sixth of the movie was a PowerPoint presentation. Yep. Yep. And and then what happened? Then guy rolls into town for no reason, and he wants to study German stuff. So he shows right. up, and they're like, "Hey." Read this history of witches. Uh, and then he revives a witch on accident. Witch kills a couple of guys whose names we don't know. <laughs> and then <laughs> then she's naked for a bit. And then she bones the main character guy. And then uh, she gets killed herself. End the movie. So what did you think of Naked Witches? Uh, it was bad. No, yeah. no, no. I'm talking to the fans, John, not you. Oh. I heard what you thought. Yeah. No. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Let us know down in the comments. Uh... <laughs> yep. And, uh, yeah. We'll catch you next time on the Riff Raft. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. Bye.